Hello. How does she do it? I read somewhere that she blinks only nine times throughout the whole series. That's not enough. I could never. Anyway, my name's Carolina and I will show you how I made Wednesday's prom slash dance dress. The like iconic dress that she wears at the ball and has the iconic dance in that I did try to imitate at the end of this video. Stay tuned for that, I guess. Um, I have a few things to say. First of all, I did try to dress up as Wednesday and kind of act like her throughout a little bit of the video. But I do have to say, I'm 100% in it. Like, there's literally half a percent of a gothic slash emo -y bone to like to myself to my spirit so it was kind of hard if like if you watch any of my other videos which you should you'll see that also i'm not an actress i'm not a set designer i'm not a writer so i'm bad at writing scripts and i'm not that good at editing which does mean that the vision in my head for this video that you're watching right now it's not going to be fulfilled and I'm sorry to disappoint because I know you deserve a masterpiece of a tutorial for a dress but I don't have the budget for that or the skills so disclaimers being said let's get on with the dress Okay, so let's start with analyzing the dress and sketching it out. As you can see, I, I mean, thing, hopefully, if I manage to edit that, decided to draw and sketch the dress on a Tim Burton style. I hope you like it. Let me know. Anyway, I originally started, um, Analyzing the dress through the series. Um, there's a very good image of the dress on the window like on the The shop as well as um, Wednesday herself wearing it and there's a video of Jenna Ortega Putting on the dress and with that video you can actually tell that it's a two-piece Set it's not a dress it's a skirt and a top separate which I actually appreciate a lot because I'm not really a cosplayer i'm much more of a make clothing for myself kind of person so it's good that i'll be able to wear the skirt separately and the top separately if i ever want to wear this um outside of this video or a costume party anyway back to the dress so if you analyze the dress you can tell that it's a skirt with three layers very gathered layers and a top with a shirt like built with a collar and the placket as well as like a lot of ruffled bit here on the shoulders and the chest um, for the rest of the shirt so it's not a full shirt it's a deconstructed shirt I guess and yeah that's what we are making if you're interested the original dress is an Alaya dress it's the fall 2020 ready to wear dress so Wednesday got budget you know she's got the bag to make the purchases she got the Netflix bag also yeah like in the series this is a second hand dress and actually I want to talk a little bit more about that in just a second but the original dress is very expensive an Alaya dress ready to wear new usually retails around from anywhere between like two to five thousand dollars like American dollars um and you know a lot of it is the brand name but there's also a lot of the money that goes into fabric and craftsmanship and i say that because the dress is very flowy it's very whimsical 
and to buy a very thin sheer black fabric is kind of expensive um i didn't i didn't use in this diy that level of a fabric and it does show in the end result so the closer you want to get to the actual dress the more you have to expect spend in fabric just you know letting you know anyway let's make the dress because this was a long intro so let's talk materials first thing you'll need and the most thing you need is the sheer black fabric i use an organza you can just go out and look for any black sheer fabric it's kind of common um there are pricier versions and cheaper versions this one that i found was like one of the cheapest that i could find it does have a little bit of a sheen to it and it's not as see-through as i would like it to be it's also a little bit more incorporated a little bit thicker than i wanted it to be but it was the cheaper one that i could find you will need a lot you will need anywhere between seven to ten meters of fabric um i used around seven if you've managed to find a more like a thinner fabric i used like 10 or more um it's a lot of fabric like a lot of fabric you also need a little bit of a cotton fabric like 30 centimeters of a i use cotton black fabric um four buttons four buttons an elastic that's thick ish like i'd say four centimeters and i just used one that i had here and you will need a sewing machine, time, patience, a lot of thread. And I personally used an overlocker throughout a lot of the dress. And I kind of don't know if I would do the dress if I didn't have the overlocker. So that's something that I'm informing you right now. So those are the materials. Let's start with the top. So I'll start with the top and then I'll transition into making the skirt and then I'll come back to the top because that's how I worked. In real life so you will need a shirt pattern I'll leave one on screen you can also find it on pattern making books or on the internet you can just google it and you'll find a very good one probably um, yeah after you make your pattern you will cut it around nine centimeters from the neck whole bit of the front of the panel and then you'll cut around the same line on the back panel and that is the pattern for the top bit when you cut it you will need to cut the front two of the front panel so like a pair a separate pair and then the back you cut it on the fold and then the bottom bits you will cut both of them on the fold also i'd like to say maybe add one and a half centimeters to the middle of the front bottom panel. I hope that was understandable. I will try to put um, helpful drawings on screen. Oh, also you need the, the color bits, the color, the, this bit here that I don't know how to say, and a placket. Okay, so now you will cut um, the pieces. For this top part, so the top front two pieces and the back panel, I tried to cut it on a thinner, more flimsy, more see-through fabric because on her dress it's a little bit more, you know, luxurious. Um, but that fabric was so annoying to cut, I was having a very, 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 very hard time. That is also something you have to consider if you want to buy more and more thin fabrics to make it as close as possible. As I mentioned, the original dress is very expensive yada 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 because very thin fabric is very hard to cut and it is annoying and you will hate yourself anyway I decided to do everything in the original organza a little bit more thick fabric that I got because it's what I had the most of and I need to sneeze Bless me. After you cut the pieces of fabric, you will have to cut also the pieces of the collar on a the cotton 
fabric, the more like last year fabric um, that you have. You have to cut two of each piece on the fold. Um, and because in the footage I only have one of each piece in the fold, you have to cut two of each piece on the fold. And for the placket, you have to cut the size of the top front of the panel that you just did times five, I think. And now for the placket, you will fold half a centimeter in each side of the placket and fold it on the middle. And then you go, you get your sewing machine and put it on the buttonhole setting and make three buttonholes with, you know, a decent, decently spaced out from each other so that you have a good bit of buttonhole to button ratio. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, once you do that, you will attach the blankets to each side of the front panels and you will also stitch the shoulder seams from the front to the back. Um, always, you know, do front facing front, front facing front together, right sides together. Um, although in this fabric, it's really hard to tell what is the front side, to be quite honest. Just full disclosure, I did have to remake my plaquettes because they looked bad and I did cut them in the wrong sizing, just in case you want to know. Anyway, um, after you do, you attach the plaquettes and um, stitch the shoulders, you will just pin the plaquettes together in the very bottom and put the fabric, like the piece of clothing that you have through your head just to see if it fits because maybe you have a big head like Bugsy and that doesn't go through and if that doesn't go through you have to cut it cut the like head hole a little bit bigger and recut the uh, collar attachments because those were made um, with the first head measurement um, after you do all of this you will pause this video you will make the screen smaller and you will go to the description you will see a bunch of links a few of those are my personal social media you can go and follow them um, instagram tiktok pinterest um, and after you do that you can go on the link that says color tutorial you go to the link is a person a random person that i don't know who is but it's a very helpful tutorial you'll follow it from start to finish on how to attach the color and the part the underneath part of the color that i forget how you say it um and then you come back to this video full disclosure i did not interface anything because i'm lazy you can interface your stuff if you're not as lazy as i am and yeah i'll just let you do that tell me when you're back okay now you have your little shirt thing stop with that and let's cut a little bit more fabric that's the complicated it's not complicated you just have to pay attention okay we will be cutting gigantic pieces of fabric okay so make yourself like a little system i glued post-its to the floor and separated the the panels the pieces um in order as that i i needed them just make 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 a good system okay make a good system for yourself okay so let's let's talk skirt so first the very bottom layer the underneath the first layer from your if you see it from your body outwards the first layer it's a very weird weird way to explain it um you will need two pieces the first one is the length from your waist to the floor so like the length of the skirt minus 10 centimeter plus a sewing allowance i did like three to four centimeters it's a lot but i just i don't know i just do things i don't really think about them and then the second oh and like this is the the height and then the width is two times your hip measurement and then the other panel for the first skirt is a 10 centimeter panel plus a sewing allowance of height by four times your hip measurement. And then the middle layer, it's two pieces again, we're doing half and half. So it's again the full length of the skirt divided by half 
um, those are the heights and then the first one will be two times the hip and the second one will be four times the hip and then the third skirt I did it's three layers and they're smaller so you're gonna get the measurement from your hip no from your waist to your knees and you're gonna divide it by six and then the first layer is going to be one sixth of that measurement you just got and the the for height and then the length will be two times the hip the second panel is two six of the measurement times by you know four times the hip measurement and then the third panel is three six of the measurement from your waist to your knees by six times six times the measurement of your wait, hip 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 that was a lot um, I'll have it on screen if you guys want to know what my measurements were I could tell them I could tell that to you a while ago because I had them here but I lost my little sheet with that information okay just found it so i didn't do the exact thing that i just said to you like the whole half and half and once again but i just kind of winked it you know i just kind of was you know putting fabric and then for the arm measurements you always have to add the sum of this like the measurement around the top that you just did and then you do one four centimeters by double dot measurement and then the second panel is seven centimeters by four times that measurement i hope that was very understandable be smart don't cut all of this because it's more time consuming and you will cut it weirdly because we are flawed human beings and it's hard to do a straight line with scissors what i did was to rip it because when you go straight in a woven fabric you just rip it up it goes straight it follows the grain it's what people do at fabric shops if you feel insecure ripping your fabric have a rotary cutter and fold it a bunch of times and cut it with a rotary cutter i don't have a rotary cutter and i like ripping fabric apart use your force um, yeah, have a system, separate them into little groups. Actually, no, I don't care. Don't, se don't separate them, put them all together, mix them up, go insane. That was a bad acting. I suck at acting. Should have, should take acting classes. Um, separate them, have a good system. So let's prepare the fabric. The first thing you do to all of those pieces of long strips of fabric that you got, you will do two parallel stitches to them individually on the biggest length in your sewing machine that's for gathering um and yeah that will take you a long time fill up as many bobbins as you can Fill up your bobbin so that you don't get stressed. Don't start a new panel if you can tell that your bobbin is running out <clears throat> because that would just be annoying. You'll have to take it all out. Um, and don't back stitch. Start stitching, don't back stitch. Do it all the way to the end and then go again all the way to the end. Do that to all of your fabric. Find out some good podcasts for that. Also, actually rewatch this video while you're doing that. Just keep rewatching it. I'd love that. Okay, and next, still in preparation, you will need to hem some of your panels. You are going to hem the 
bottom um, panels of each layer so the longest ones you'll be hemming them as well as the two strips of fabric that you cut for the top i use my overlocker on a specific setting with like a very uh, small tension very small stitch length only two threads um it's a very specific setting that did take me a while to get i was trying to prep the machine for so long you can also do a rolled hem or and like and you can also do a hem with a fishing wire i think that the original dress has a fishing wire hem because it goes around like this so nicely i didn't want to bother with it i wanted to do a overlocker hem if i wanted to do the overlocker hem with the fishing wire i'm a hundred percent sure i would break my blade and i didn't want to do that um but i will leave links down below on how to do the rolled hem and the fishing wire hem that i think the fishing wire one would do a great look for this dress um so yeah after you spend a few hours stitching your fabric for gathering and hemming it you will spend a few more hours gathering the fabric for gathering is very simple you will get the two bottom um, pieces of string that you did throughout the whole all of the panels you will hold them and then you will pull the fabric through things of thread and then you separate them and now you will hold still and just pull the bobbin one um, and you have to do them that very cautiously don't pull too hard so you don't snap the thread do it patiently it will take a while and you will have to uh, gather the bottom layer to the layer that goes on top of like above it so the very bottom layer of the bottom oh my god the bottom panel i will draw that out because it's hard for me words are hard for me okay but you will take your time of that and you pin them okay so you gather them and you pin them together so that you can sew them later um yes i ran out of pins so i had to sew a couple of panels together mid gathering them up and i did them on the floor my back does love me a lot um anyway while we're gathering i just want to take a little bit of time to mention the elephant in the room and that is of course the print in the original dress yes i know you were thinking about that that's why i brought it up I did notice this from the time I watched the, the series, all the, like when I was thinking of doing this dress. If you look at the dress in the window that is being sold as a vintage dress, you can see that it has a little bit of a print to it. Originally, only watching the series and Jenna's video, I thought that that was intentional from the producers to like make it look like it's an old dress. You know, like when you store a dress or like any item of clothing for too long and it gets a little bit of like a mold stain or like a dust stain, just like old age stain on a clothing item. That's what I thought it was throughout the whole dress. Um, and then I come to find out that it's actually a like leopard slash like a cheetah print made by the original designers because in the collection you can see there are a few cheetah prints throughout the collection and i felt bit, I, I, I felt a little bit bad because it's like for me just look like mold but it's because of the whole like setting of course like it's being sold in a vintage store it's wednesday adams like there's the whole like antique kind of vibe to it so i i i think it was okay for me to think it was just like um dust stain in a dress but anyway, I did want to mimic that um, in this remaking of the dress. I just kind of gave up. 
originally I wanted to tie dye bleach tie dye the pattern not the pattern the pieces of the garment to do that kind of look of the dress the like print of the dress um however um we only used polyester it's an organza it's polyester polyester it's very hard to dye especially bleach dye because it's a, it's a polyester okay it's hard to do that um with polyester i did research and i found out that there are a few ways to bleach dye your polyester and those few ways actually only one way you have to boil it down and you have to be very careful with that because to boil down plastic fabric it's very dangerous because you can melt your whole dress so it was just too much for me i was just like i don't think it's that necessary when wednesday herself wears the dress she's wearing with a lot of layering pieces underneath that make the dress look less like make the print not be that visible anyway but if you want to do that i'd say maybe boil the fabric the pieces individually don't boil the whole 10 meters of fabric boil the pieces individually tie dye them like tie them and then bleach it although like once you boil them down i think the the tie dye bit of it would be a little bit not it wouldn't work too well but you have to boil it so it works in um a polyester um anyway there is i think it might be in my work you'd have to make a little sample first um and tell me how it works if you do that okay back to the gathering once you finish gathering um your skirt panels to each other you will sew them i did sew them on an overlocker i feel like if you don't have an overlocker you can always I think you don't need to zigzag stitch this because it's not a woven fabric, it's just a lot of fabric bunched together. I feel like you could do a straight stitch with a, a small um, stitch length and then maybe cut the excess fabric and put a bias tape on the edges. I feel like you'd need to do that because otherwise it's going to be very, pin like very, you know, on your skin. I don't think it's going to be nice. Um, but yeah, I did it um, on an overlocker. You sew them all together and you haven't um, gathered the top panels of any of the layers. So that's what we're going to do now. First of all, you will have to cut a waistband. Yes, I'm wearing shorts. Don't be scared, okay? I'm wearing shorts. You will have to measure your waist and your hip. You cut a, 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 you cut a piece that is the length like the 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 size of your hip measurement and the the height has to be double the size of your elastic plus like three to four centimeters i used a lot of a margin that's because we're going to gather a lot of fabric in that one space and i just didn't want to leave a little amount of fabric for that um yeah so you cut the piece of fabric and then you gather the three layers of skirt to that piece of fabric and then you stitch them right sides together so that would be the right side of your um, waistband facing the right side of your top layer the small one and then you put the middle layer and then the top layer on top of each other and then you stitch them together um, and then you fold over the hem and you fold it over and um, do a little stitch in the ditch slash stitching on the right side and getting the back side. That kind of, I don't know how to describe that technique of doing a waistband, but it's that technique. Anyway, that's how you do the skirt. And then you will close the side seams of the skirts one by one. So the bottom one, then the middle one, then the top one and then you will attach the elastic sew it in with a bunch of zigzag stitches make sure it's very secure and then you close the waistband and you have the skirt done that's it now let's go back to the top for the to finish the top what you would do you will 
you will measure around the top that you have and you'll get the measurement and you will tape that measurement to the ground and you will gather both pieces that you did for the that gathering of the top to that size and then you will stitch them together i overlock them together and you will attach them right sides together to the top so the top is facing right sides up and then you will face the the bunch of gathered fabric right side <laughs> to that top so it's top facing up and then bottom a uh, small layer and then bigger layer on top of it and then you go around um, because this is a square I did straight stitches so I did one stitch and then I stopped it and then I did the other side 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 instead of doing like corners I just went all the way to the end and then stopped and started again for the corners because I didn't want to do like corners to finish off you'll be attaching the forgotten piece of the shirt the like longer layer the bottom layers however you see fit honestly i think i did it in a wrong way you just attach it to the the gather piece um i overlocked the whole bits like around it just so i didn't have to hem it later because you would have to hem the the armhole bit and the bottom bit and I didn't want to do that so I overlocked the whole thing also I did snag the fabric which means that my top has a hole in it the only way to fix it is to remake it so be really careful with this project because it's a very sheer very um, sensitive fabric be sure you're sewing on the right place because if you have to seam rip it it's it's bad don't have to seam rip any seams on this project because you'll have to redo it all again i didn't redo it i just have a top with a little snag on it because i didn't want to redo it all but the right thing to do would be to redo it all because i do have fabric to do that but i'm not doing it and that was very upsetting okay, you will now attach the buttons you have to do a buttonhole in the like the collar bit i didn't do that but you have to do that and you will attach your four buttons and you're done and you're done this room is too small <laughs> maybe it's like a dollar store Elia, but it still slaps like it's still really good i think i might have forgotten to say in the video and I just remember that you have to do this side seams, the like armhole side seams. Um, and when you close these, um, because you're gonna close them here in the front, see, because you start here, you go all the way around, and then you end up here again. Don't do what I did, I, I uh, sew them together, together, together. Don't do that do the top layer and then the bottom layer like we did on the skirt there's something incredibly wrong i don't know what it is maybe it's the fact that my hair is pain could be you're falling down sun goes down and the moon comes up I turn to a teenage hoogie bug Yeah, I cruise through the city and I roam the street I'm looking for something that is nice to eat That is it 
for this video. I hope it was an understandable and enjoyable video to watch. Um, in case you didn't like it, comment down below the fact that you didn't like it. Why didn't you like it? What was not understandable about my video? I would like to know. If you did like it though, if you did like it though, do let me know because I really want some feedback um, on the videos that I'm making. I'd like to give a few final thoughts about the dress though <laughs> before that, before finishing the video. The fabric was not the right one. Obviously, I got the cheapest version that I could for this video because I'm only probably only wearing this as a costume. I might wear this skirt or the top separately, but I don't know. Um, if I got a sheer, a, a lighter weight fabric, it would look better, I think. Um, and if I did get a lighter weight fabric, I would have done the panels longer because they would be more, there would be like more volume, more gatheredness to them although with this fabric I wouldn't have done more than what I did because it would just be too bulky yeah for me personally I would have added more um more length to the bottom layers of the first and second layer so like the the top one and the middle one so I feel like them they have they do deserve a little bit more fullness to it in my case Okay, if you're doing this um, for the top, if um, do check if the bottom bit of the shirt fabric, like the very bottom bit, is enough to pass through your boobs because it might be a snug fit. And if you have a bigger chest, that might not go through at the end. So before cutting the fabric, be sure that the measurement, like the sum of the four, you know, four times the, the whole circumference of the bottom of the, of the shirt, are enough to go through your boob because this is a shirt that we go a normal shirt you don't need to have it through your head but this one you do so um take that into consideration if you're making this um this dress um is there anything yeah overall i like the dress but i am a little bit disappointed with my choice of fabric uh, maybe i should have done a little bit more research try to find one a fabric that's a little bit cheaper but um, a little less thick than the one that I got. Um, maybe I could have liked the end result a little bit better, but at the same time, I did buy the little bit of the very sheer fabric that is kind of along the lines of what I've been thinking of like the overall fabric. And it was ex more expensive. And also it was so hard to use, it was so hard to manage. So maybe this is a good fabric overall for a costume. You know, it's, we're not doing an Elia dress. We're doing a Wednesday Adams costume. So that's, you know, a few of my, my thoughts about the project. I completely lost the character and I've been talking for a whole hour. So that will be fun to edit, won't it? I know it will. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit the like button. And as I said, comment down below your thoughts and opinions about overall video the dress what you would do differently if you're a sewer if you're a seamstress if you do do the dress let me know comment down below if you can post um, a photo on instagram or even just send me on dms i would love to see it if you use my video as a tutorial i hope it was understandable enough i'm learning um, how to explain the things that i want to explain i'm not that good with words but i i like to think that i'm good with graphs anyway uh, be here to check some of my other videos. I don't usually look like this. I'm very much into sewing, knitting, crocheting, and making, you know, knit with me slash tutorials for you guys. And that's it. <laughs> that is it. I hope you liked this video. Although I don't really care if you did. Actually, I do. <laughs> Have a nice day. Um, <laughs> I really wish I was a good actress, you know. Anyway, have a good day. I hope you like this video, and I have to stop talking. Bye, bye.